Hello, everyone. I'm back. And uh, I'm going to try to give a little bit of an overview of the characters uh, uh, in terms of why I chose their personality mainly. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just have fun with it. Now let's go around. Whoops, uh, start from the beginning. So, uh, first off, uh, tan, tan, tangif, tan, ooh, sorry, I'm a little nervous. Tangela Ring, or Tangi, her short. Uh, so Cecilia, also known as a Silophyte. Um, yeah, and, uh, her name is a joke, or pun as they say, on Tangerine. In case you didn't notice. And, uh... Yeah, she's an INFJ. Um, then... Her description is uh, typical INFJ issues. Um... Yeah. Well, I based a lot of her on me since I'm an INFJ too, where she would be pretty similar. Next we have, uh, Lukey and Isla Lasherton, the Cyclops siblings, or Siblop, Sibclops, if I like to call them. <laughs> um, funny, Joe. There are play on words there. Um, they're, uh, two close friends of, uh, Tangi, th there's not much to them as they're, you know, pretty young. They're just, uh, you know, there for Tangi. And, uh, since most people, um, equivocate, uh, Cyclops to ISTP, I made Isla an ISTP, although, for variety, I made, uh, Mookie an ISFJ just when they weren't. Exactly the same, although, because they're so young, I guess, I don't know how much different it would, there would be in real life. Um, but yeah, and I, and I gave, uh, you know, just for fun, the different aspects, like, um, you know, the origins of their mythology and the, what the meanings of the names are and their origin, just to the pun trivia and to go with that. Um, next we have, uh, Sylvia Scaler, the mermaid, or Sylvie for short. And, uh, in case you couldn't tell, her name is a, a pun on silver scales. She has silver scales, man. I like doing that. I like making jokes in the names. Like that. Um. Uh, yeah, she's an enthusiastic mermaid who wants to know what it's like to be on land. Um, honestly, I'm not sure. I don't know if there was any specific reason I made her ENFP. I just... I think because she becomes fast friends with Tangi and ENFPs get along well with INFJs. I just decided to make her ENFP. I don't think there was any specific reason. Um. Other than the fact that it seems often that people equivocate or correlate mermaids to have the ENFP personality if they were to choose when it comes to mythological creatures. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Um. Oh, and this reminds me, uh, her design was inspired by, uh, some animated mermaid I saw in a song of somewhat. Uh, uh, Lukey and Isla, a lot of these inspiration for subconscious, I think, uh, their designs were really heavily inspired by the Powerpuff Girls and, uh, possibly even their hands like Huggy Wuggy from Poppy Playturn. And, uh, Oh, Tangi's design was inspired by a deleted scene in The Little Mermaid 2, um, heavily based off or inspired by, uh, 
The kid version of Morgana, Ursula's sister. Um, this is a scientist, uh, Professor Oscar Zerv. And, uh, there's a, his pun is a, his name is a pun on a word that, uh, I can't, I won't make any sense if I tell you now. You'll have to see for yourself. It has to do with what he likes to do. Um, and they equivocate. Um, I should use a different word. They attribute scientist, INTP, at least on 16 personalities, not palm. Uh, so that's that. Um, but yeah, he's a bit of a crypto cryptozoologist and scientist. Um, Esther A. Periwinkle, the Sturbismic Lama, Lamia. Um, so the A stands for, um, Adara, which is a pawn on Adder, which is a snake. Uh, I won't reveal why she's for business. There's a, a good, uh, a reason why, but I, I won't want to spoil that. But I decided to make her, um, uh, INFP because, um, I feel like a snake wraps around something and can bind it together. Uh, and also, if you remember in the Bible, there was a, a bronze snake statue with heal, which healed people and INFP is a mediator and healer. So yeah. Oh yeah, uh, his, uh, design was inspired by, uh, Professor Egad and, but from, uh, Luigi, Luigi's Mansion and Mario and, uh, as well as Mr. Mumbles from Ruby Gloom. <laughs> okay, George Ann, girl, or... Georgie, girl, I assume that's how you pronounce this. It's either Gerald or girl. It's probably girl. So yes, this is a reference to both, um, the book series Georgie the Ghost Spy. Um, was it Robert Winthrop? I think. Uh, uh Robert Bright. And uh, as well as the reference to the song Georgie Girl by the Seekers, which I put down here. Um, I, uh... I, uh, gave her the ISFP personality, because I figured, well, uh, from a free and adventurous spirit, and ISFP is the adventurer and artist. So, yeah. Um, but her design was originally based off of a Hallmark card that I hope to find one day, because I, like, uh, like, yeah, but the that I didn't, you know, take a picture of it, and I should have. So let me know if you find this card again. It looks, she looks like this. Inside it said, have a good one, sweetie. Um, but yeah, uh, so let me know if you find that card. If I never do, at least I have this, you know, remake of her. So technically this design is, uh, is, I guess owned by Hallmark, but I doubt they really have a problem with it. If it's just the one character they put on a card, then that they'll probably never do anything else with. But hopefully, uh, they can tell me if they have my card if I were to ask them. But that's wishful thinking. Anywho. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Charlene Pear, or Charlie for short, the genie in a beat me. <laughs> I love that little joke I didn't. That, uh, that rhyme that just sounds... So good, it just rolls off the tongue so well, it makes you laugh. Um, so, I gave her the ESFJ personality type, because a console slash provider, she needs to provide you with guns, with their wishes. Um, that's going off the rule. The actual behavior might be more like an ESFP. Um, kind of like how, say... I have it 
I don't have one here, but an Opera Bua Malu, um, a scorpion, half human, half hybrid would most likely be ESTJ personality in terms of behavior, but in terms of their, uh, of the going off the name of the personality the associated, I would say they'd be an ISFJ guardian slash protector. Just, you know, going off the name, I would seem, uh, to match with them. But yeah, going off the, the name of the personality, um, here, console slash provider that, that, that sounds like the genie. And, uh, yeah, so she was inspired by, uh, Meanie, Meanie Genie from Skylanders, as well as that one genie episode from Masha and the Bear that Hannah put it on my mind. And ironically, she's green like, um, Eden from the Aladdin series. I, I didn't know she was green, I, because I watched that after I made her cat, after I made Charlie. So that was, um, a coincidence. And it really shows how God puts signs in your life that he's watching over you. By putting in things that you, you know, that relate to what you've done and what you like. It's pretty amazing, huh? Um, yeah, so I'm not going to spoil what this means. She appeared to be a genie, but not all cosmic entities of what they seem. She is a true shapeshifter after all, so I won't spoil that. So, that'll be neat. Okay, Alec Mend is this writer. So, uh, this is a plan word for Arachnid Alec Mend. <laughs> um, and I made him INTJ because, uh, well, they're the architects and masterminds, and that's what spires are. They're architects, and they're usually pretty intelligent. Uh, and he has a, a Japanese-like hat. Uh, or not just the Japanese wear this, but they, they are one of the people that do. Let's associate with them, because this was originally, this concept of the humanoid rider originally surfaced in Japan, Japanese, uh, you know, mythology. And lastly, Jackie Flapgar, the Pulmonade. So I could either go with the name Pulmonade or, um, Pomo Maid, but Pulmonade just sound better. Pulmonade plus Mermaid. Um, and, uh, you might recognize this character. She was originally... Just a one-off I made, because I wanted to make my own. Um, Smiling Critter, from Poppy Playtime, as everybody was doing it, so I said, oh, might as well give it a try. I'm not really happy with the direction that series has gone, it's a little, gone a little too dark for my taste, but hey, at least, um, you know, they, they help me make my own character, because she looks different enough to... Work has her own separate thing, I think. It's really just the mouth and the air freshener here. The, so she can work as her own thing. So yeah, um, and I gave her, um, at first they gave her INFJ personality, this leaving your mark on a wall like the gastropod with Ted Mucus trails. Shells of liquid crystal. And I thought, well, maybe, um, I'm sorry, no, I gave her INFP first, then I went to INFJ, and lastly I settled on ENTP, cause ENTPs are trailblazers, all oh, she's a, um, trail secretor, <laughs> And she can see things from multiple angles because of her eyes. Get it? So yeah, ENTP. So yeah guys, um, she's based on the, the pancake slum, Ronicella Slovani. Um, so yeah. And that's it for now. I will post the other, uh, secondary characters. Eventually I have a lot more planned.
Uh, but Dave, my Dave, not gonna have us large up a rule, but I just like the designs. And these guys, there's not much to say off them. They're just the three gastropods I have that um, are secondary characters, but they do play a, a large part, more or less, in that the story it's that unfolds. So at least these three do. And the rest may really be, the rest of the characters that come out with may really be minor characters. But I do have, uh, plans for, um, appearance of an Akrabu Melu, an elf, and a Mursky. So that'll be exciting. Stay tuned for that. So yeah, guys, thank you for taking a look at my series. Um, I pray you have a blessed day. God bless you as you in that household. Take care. Thank you. Um, bye. Okay, guys, so I actually forgot something that I wanted to include. So, another reason I figured Cecilia would be, um, INFJ is because, I, um, not just because octopi are intelligent, but also because, they're uh, chameleons. Octopi, octopi can change color very quickly. Um, and they're adaptable. Um, an octopus symbolizes INFJ and mystery, complexity, and adaptability. And you may not know this, but there was actually an octopus named Paul who once recognized patterns and made predictions about them football games and their outcomes and that's what INFJ do they make predictions they uh um formulate they notice patterns they formulate together and make hypotheses and that's why sometimes you're considered psychic which I don't like to be honest with you because it makes us seem like these magical fairies and we're not it's just our intuition and putting puzzle pieces together we and we also pick up on people's uh, visual cues, which makes us seem like we can read minds. But that's not not what it is. It, it's just the, 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 the result, the side effect of intelligence and intuition. Oh, and uh, regarding Poppy Playtime, I will say that... I will say that I've won... Bodo aspect, pollen aspect is that, a uh, um, it's kind of reflective on today's events with the, uh, government and, uh, child mutilation, artificial facade, so, but yeah, all right, guys, thank you, all right. Okay, so another thing I forgot was that, uh, Esther's design was inspired by, um, the only character that's well known in media that she was inspired by was Robin from the Powerpuff Girls, her best friend, and um, two um obscure just uh, influences. One was just um, a little girl I saw on Facebook, um, like a little sweet thing, and uh, that somebody like put up on their account as a montage, you know, those celebratory little things that family do, and that they had just a sweet moment they wanted to share with everybody, and the, the little girl's dress, um, inspired Esther's, you know, dress, and, uh, the bow was inspired by, um, just this cute, and if that model I found somewhere, so when posting their work of, uh, you know, their animated, well, not animated, but just 3D models that they made, and some of them were 2D. But yeah, um, oh, and the, uh, the curly hair strawberry blonde was also inspired by the little girl I saw, um, on Facebook. So yeah, if you check the DeviantArt account, I'm sorry, the, you know, where I posted the them in chronological order on DeviantArt, then you'll see I put all the links to the inspiration there on the, on the PNG, where I posted the PNGs. At least one of them. 
And then, uh... Um... With Charlie... Um, I forgot... To mention that her last name, Pear... Which means... Which actually means, um... Pear Tree... They simply gave her because, uh... I wanted to find a last name that meant Pear... And... Her head with the beanie on actually resembles a pear. Um... So yeah, guys, I, I don't think there's anything else. I prick a hot. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, bye, Hoplas. Oh yeah, and uh, the idea three eyelashes was who it's inspired by Misery from Ruby Broom. Not too much to design, just I wanted to try on the idea of three eyelashes. Um, and see how that aesthetic would look. Yeah, okie dokie.